All right, Bodybuilding Babble with me, your host, John Livy on Serious and Silliness Bodybuilding, where I give you some gossip and drama that's happening in the bodybuilding world. This week's topic is Big Ramy. Last week, Steve Weinberger, IFBB head judge and owner of uh, Syosset Powerhouse, the East Coast Mecca, was on the Dennis James podcast. Uh, I believe it's called Dennis the Menace podcast. And they were talking about Big Ramy's future. And Steve Weinberger's opinion was that Big Ramy needs to take a year off and resolve the issues he has. He said his legs are overwhelmingly too big for his upper body. His arms are deflated, his biceps and triceps. He still has that upper back problem. He still has those indentations on his quads that he really seriously needs to work on. And uh, then Dave Palumbo on RX Muscle gave his opinion, and he agreed with Steve Weinberger that Big Ramy should take a year off. Now, me, like everybody else, has the utmost respect for Steve Weinberger. He's been in the game a very long time, and he's probably the best judge in the IFBB. Every time he judges a show, he's the head judge. It always seems to be fair. Dave Palumbo also has a tremendous amount of respect in, in bodybuilding, and he's incredibly intelligent. And I would never even try to debate him. But I have to disagree with both Steve Weinberger and Dave Palumbo. Big Ramy says he wants to jump into 2023 Olympia. He doesn't want to take any time off. I also disagree with Big Ramy. And here's what I mean. I don't think Big Ramy is going to be the Big Ramy of the past. I think the best Big Ramy is behind us. I know it's difficult for an athlete to hear because your whole life you've been striving to be the best. And he was the best two years in a row. He, he reached that pinnacle. He reached that peak, mountain peak, where he was the best in the world for two years in a row. But through my experience in bodybuilding, if you will, and what I've noticed in the bodybuilding world, once a bodybuilder starts getting injuries, that usually leads to the demise of the bodybuilder. Not only that, there's a couple of other things. He is not a normal bodybuilder. Big Ramy is an enormous human being. He is a huge bodybuilder. He's just enormous. That When you have that kind of size and you begin to have injuries in bodybuilding and you're still banging the weights hard every day. It, it doesn't seem to be a recipe for a good thing. It seems to be a recipe for disaster. It seems to be all downhill. Every Mr. Olympia that I've ever saw that had started getting injuries and stayed in the game, it just got worse and worse. You look at Dorian, you look at Ronnie Coleman, who else? You look at Phil. His stomach is, uh, he had an intestinal rupture, right? Or what is it? Uh, hernia, right? He had a, he had his hernia. And then even the ones that really weren't severely hurt that made comebacks after a few years, they, they, they didn't fare well. All right. I know Arnold made the comeback in 1980 and they gave him the win, but that was a gift. He shouldn't have won that Olympia. If you disagree with me, make a comment down in the description. But he was not who he was in 1974 or whatnot. Jay Cutler took a few years off, came back, I believe, in 2013 and did not do so well. The other th reason why I don't think it's going to get any better for him is because the talent coming up is greater than the talent coming up when he was coming up. The talent coming up right now is incredibly powerful talent coming up. We have Heidi Chopin, who's still on the mountaintop, and he may win a second Olympia. Some people may disagree with me, but he's not going to be easy to overthrow. You have Derek Derek Lunsford, who is just a special bodybuilder. Then you got Nick Walker. You have Samson Dowda. You have Andrew Jacked. You have tremendous amount of other guys coming up that just are just nipping at everybody's heels. Michael Crizzo, if you haven't seen the the updates of Michael Crizzo, he looks incredible. There were a lot of guys coming up, a lot, and they're really talented. And I know I'm missing, I know I'm missing names, 
I know uh, there's good Vito who looks amazing. There's Justin Shear who looks amazing. Shear Shire. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but you know who I'm talking about. I mean, you just keep you just keep going, and these guys look look incredible. You know, Tony O'Burton. I mean, you just have amazing talent coming up, and they have better shape than Big Ramy. They have better conditioning than Big Ramy, and they're fresh. They're not injured. You could see guys like Derek and Nick are fresh. You could see there's no injuries. They're young guys, and they're coming for blood. Now, it doesn't mean I don't think Big Ramy should compete. You know, do what makes you fulfilled. But if you think, if he thinks he's going to win the Olympia again, oh, God. I mean, I know he's going to come to win. But in my personal opinion, he'll probably do the Olympia again this year, 2023. And I think he'll probably place lower than he did last year. It's it's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of an elite athlete. This is what happens. You go up and you come down and that's it. And I I know the science is better. You have the stem cell uh, research and the, the stem, stem cell therapy. And then you have, you know, yeah, and I know the sports medicine is much better than it was years ago. I don't care. I, I don't care. I don't care about that. I mean, his best bet, if he wants to continue to compete, would probably be to take some time off. But I don't think he's going to be the um, the Ramy that was the Mr. Olympia a few years back. Whether he takes time off or whether he jumps back into 2023, I don't. I just don't see it. I don't see it. Once injuries set in, it's all downhill after that. I'm sorry to say, um, I'm probably, I, don't, I know I know he's a huge moneymaker in the Middle East. I know the guy is just dollar signs and, and he can produce an amazing amount of bodybuilding fanfare in the Middle East and Egypt. And I'm sure he's going to disagree with me. Not that he's going to fucking watch this, but I'm sure that he won't agree with me. And I'm sure he's going to do as he pleases, as he should. It is just my opinion that he is the best of him is, is behind this. And he's got, but the, here's the thing. He has nothing to be ashamed of. This is a two time Mr. Olympia. He reached the top of the mountain twice. And that's more than anyone else could ever say with the exception of the other Mr. Olympias. This guy was the best of the best two years in a row. And nobody could take that away from him. He has two sand downs. Nobody could ever, ever, ever take that away from him. He was the best of the best at one point. But I'm telling you, injuries, age, the size, the heavy weight training, the young guys coming, the young blood coming up, it's just going to be too much, too overwhelming. And it's just going to be all downhill form as far as I'm concerned. I might be wrong. I don't know. I mean, this is just my opinion. I might be wrong. But... Only time will tell, and we shall see. All right. That is my opinion on the Big Ramy thing. I am just going to uh, continue doing my podcast. Obviously, I'm going to uh, keep an eye on the um, the uh, show happening in Spain. Mike Crizo seems to be the favorite, but there's a few other really good European bodybuilders in there. So we'll see what happens, and I will be giving you a review and coming back. And um, don't miss out on that interview that I did with Andrea Shaw. She was amazing. Tremendous interview, tremendous person, and a great champion. She is class and great personality. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. Uh, and I'm going to go because it's like, what time is it over here? It's uh, almost midnight and because I'm a fucking psycho and I don't stop. Period. I don't fucking stop. So this is why you're always going to get good content from me. Because I don't stop. And I won't stop. I can't stop. I don't know. Puff Daddy said that a few years ago.